Hello and welcome to my channel, The Curious Coder. If you have got an interview coming up in a Java based company, stop scrolling right here. We all know how important DSA is for cracking an interview. But here's the thing, most interviewers don't just stop there. Okay, they'll also judge how strong your core Java fundamentals are. And that's exactly what I've covered in this video. In this video, I've put together the top 30 most important core Java interview questions the ones that actually get asked in real interviews. So buckle up because I'm gonna get you interview ready. Question 1. What happens when you compile a Java program? When you write a Java program, your code is saved in .java files, which are called source code. During compilation, these .java files are converted into .class files, also known as bytecode. Now these .class files are the ones that the JVM actually understands and runs them to produce the program's output. It does not understand .java files directly and that is why they have to be compiled first. Okay. Question 2. What happens when you run a Java program? When you run a Java program, the JVM comes into action. The JVM reads the .class files that were produced during the compilation and executes them. During execution, it further converts this bytecode into machine code, which your CPU can understand. Finally, the program runs and the output is produced. Question 3. What is the difference between JDK, JRE and JVM? JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. As discussed, its responsibility is to run the program by executing the dot .class files by converting them into machine code that the CPU understands. JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. Now JVM is a part of JRE. Apart from JVM, it provides the core libraries like java.lang and java.util and other supporting files which are required at runtime. In short, it provides the whole environment that is needed to run programs. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. Now JRE is a part of JDK. Apart from JRE, it consists of various tools like Java C, Java Doc, JAR and JDB. Java C is the compiler. That means without JDK, one cannot compile the code. So if you only have a JRE, then it will work only if you somehow give it already compiled classes because it can't compile the code on its own. It will need JDK for that. Okay. Rest of the tools are used for documentation, packaging and debugging respectively. Question 4. Which of the following are memory areas allocated by the JVM when running a Java program? A. Heap B. Stack C. Method area D. Program counter register E. Native method stack or F all of the above. So the correct answer is F all of the above. All these are different memory areas in Java. Question 5 match the following. In the first column we have stack memory and heap memory and in the second column we have stores objects and instance variables, stores method calls, local variables and references. Each thread has its own memory or shared across different threads. So the correct answer is Stack stores method calls, local variables and references, whereas heap stores objects and instance variables. Now in case of a stack, each thread has its own memory, but in case of heap, it's shared across threads. Question 6. Are strings mutable in Java? Yes or no? So the correct answer will be no. No, they are not. They are immutable in nature. That is once created, their value can't be changed. Question 7. Can a static method access non-static variables? Yes or no? So the correct answer is no. No, it can't. Question 8. What are the default values of various data types? Now default value means that the value they hold when you don't explicitly assign any value to their variable. Okay. So we have byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, boolean, a string or any object. So their default values are for byte, it's zero. For short, it's also 0. For int, it's also 0. For long, it's 0L. For float, it's 0.0F. For double, it's 0.0D. For char, it's a null character. For boolean, it's false. For a string, it's null. And for any object also, it's null. Okay. Question 9. Fill in the blank. Dash variables are declared inside a method or a constructor. Dash variables are declared inside a class but outside any method or block and each object of the class has its own copy of these variables. 
dash variables are declared with the static keyword inside a class and are shared among all the objects of that class. So the correct answer is local variables are declared inside a method or constructor. Instance variables are declared inside a class but outside any method or block and each object of the class will have their own copy of these variables. And static variables are declared with the static keyword inside a class and these are the ones who are shared among all the objects of that class. Okay. Question 10. What is the difference between break, continue and return? Now let's understand this with the help of a code. We have a method print which has for loop inside it that prints from 1 to 5. Okay. So in the first iteration, the value of i is 1. So 1 will be printed. Then in the second iteration, the value of i is 2. So we have an if condition for i equal to equal to 2 that says continue. So what does continue do? It actually skips the current iteration, but it will not break the for loop. Okay, so this means that i equal to 2 will not be printed. This iteration will be skipped and we move on to the next iteration. So now i is equal to 3. So 3 will be printed. Then we have i is equal to 4. Now for i equal to 4, we have another if condition that says if i is 4, then we need to break. So break means that it will actually exit the loop. Okay, so it not only uh, breaks the, it not only skips the current iteration, it rather exit the complete loop. So this time 4 will also not be printed and actually 5 will also not be printed because we are out of the loop. Okay, now we have a print statement that says hello. So this will be printed because break has only made us exit the loop. It has not made us exit the current method. Okay, we are still part of the print method. So hello will be printed. Then we have the return statement which says that we need to exit the method. So return is the last statement of the method and it says that it's time to finish the complete method. So our total output would be 1, then 3 and then hello. And after that, we just exit from our method. Okay. Question 11. What is the parent class of all classes in Java? A. Object B. Class C. Parent or D. None of the above. So the correct answer is A object class. Question 12. Can you store different data types in an array? Yes or no? So the correct answer is no. In a standard way you can't. But yes, you might create an array with object data type as it will allow you to store any type of data since object is the parent class of all the classes. Okay. Question 13. What is the difference between hash map and hash table? Hash map can have one null key and multiple null values, whereas hash table does not allow any null keys or any null values. Hash map is not thread safe, but hash table is thread safe. Hash map is faster and hash table is slower. Question 14. What is the difference between throw and throws? Now throw is a keyword which is actually used if you want to throw some exception. It is used inside a method like this. On the contrary, throws is a keyword which is used in the method signature to inform the compiler that this method might be facing some exception at runtime. Okay. Question 15. Which of the following statements about try, catch and finally blocks in Java are correct? A. Try block alone without catch or finally is allowed. B. Try block with catch only is allowed. C. Try block with finally only is allowed. D try block with catch and finally is allowed or e catch and finally without try are allowed so a is wrong you cannot have a try block alone you at least need a catch or finally with it b is correct because try with catch is allowed c is also correct because try with finally is also allowed and d is also correct because try with both catch as well as finally is also allowed e is not correct because you cannot have catch or finally even together without a try. Okay. Question 16. What is the difference between error and exception? Now exception represents the issues that a program can catch and handle. They are usually caused by some bad input or some file not found or divide by zero. Okay. Things like this. But error represents serious problems that are mostly beyond the control of the program and they cannot be handled. Okay. Like let's say some JVM issues or some memory overflow or some hardware failure. Okay. Things like these. So some examples of exceptions are 
आई ओ एक्सेप्शन फाइल नॉट फाउंड एक्सेप्शन अरेथमेटिक एक्सेप्शन एंड सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एरर्स आर आउट ऑफ मेमरी एरर वर्चुअल मशीन एरर ओके क्वेश्चन सेवनटीन फिल इन द ब्लैंक डैश इज द पेरेंट क्लास ऑफ बोथ एरर एंड एक्सेप्शन थ्रोएबल करेक्ट आंसर इज थ्रोएबल थ्रोएबल इज द पेरेंट क्लास ऑफ बोथ एरर एंड एक्सेप्शन क्वेश्चन एटीन फिल इन द ब्लैंक डैश इज द पेरेंट क्लास ऑफ बोथ रन टाइम एक्सेप्शन एंड कंपाइल टाइम एक्सेप्शन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज एक्सेप्शन देर इज अ क्लास एक्सेप्शन फ्रॉम विच ऑल एक्सेप्शन इनहेरिट ओके सो द हायर आर की इज दैट वी हैव द ऑब्जेक्ट एज द टॉप मोस्ट पेरेंट क्लास देन थ्रोएबल इज द चाइल्ड क्लास ऑफ दैट देन इट हैज एरर एज वेल एज एक्सेप्शन एंड देन बोथ कंपाइल टाइम एक्सेप्शन एज वेल एज रन टाइम एक्सेप्शन इनहेरिट फ्रॉम द एक्सेप्शन क्लास ओके क्वेश्चन नाइनटीन मैच द फॉलोइंग एक्सेप्शन विद दर टाइप compile or run time so in the first column we have exceptions and in the second column we have their type like whether the exception is a compile time exception or a run time exception okay so the correct match is io exception is a compile time exception null pointer exception is a run time exception file not found exception is also a compile time exception array index out of bounds exception is again a run time exception sql exception is a compile time exception and arithmetic exception is also a run time exception okay question 20 what is garbage collection in java now garbage collection is the process by which the jvm automatically removes the objects that are no longer referenced in the program this will help us free up memory okay for example in the below code hello was referenced by s but now s is null so it means hello is not referenced by any variable right so when garbage collector will run it will remove hello from the memory thereby cleaning up all the space okay question 21 what is the difference between final finally and finalize final is a keyword it can be used along with fields methods or classes when it's used with a field it means that the value of that field can't be changed when it is used with a method that means that the method can't be overridden now and when it is used with a class it means that that class can't be inherited okay finally is a block which is used with try catch it's the block that always gets executed whether or not there was an exception in the code and finalize is a method which is called by the garbage collector just before performing the cleanup okay question 22 in java under which of the following scenarios does the finally block not execute a when an exception occurs in the catch block b when the jvm exits by calling system dot exit c when the code in the try catch block executes normally without exceptions or is it d finally block always execute so the correct answer is actually b when the jvm exits by calling system dot exit okay it's an exceptional case where even the finally block does not execute question 23 explain the complete method signature public static void main string args so first we need to understand that the main method is called by jvm to start the program now public means that a method can be called from outside the class as well now the jvm calls this method from outside the class that's why it must be made public static means method can be called without creating an object of the class hence it's static so that jvm can call the main method without creating any object of the class void is the return type of the method it means that the main method is not returning any data and main is the name of the method now string args is provided as a parameter so that you can pass command line arguments to the program when it runs question 24 can we have more than one main method in a class yes or no so correct answer is yes yes we can but their method parameters must be different however jvm will call only the one with string args question 25 can we have multiple classes with main in one project yes actually that can also be done every java file can have its own main method you have the liberty to run any of the class that has main method question 26 what is the difference between main string with the square bracket and then args and main string args and the square bracket later so actually there is absolutely no difference these are just different styles to write and you can write it anyway question 27 what is the default initial capacity of a hash map in java 
ए एट बी सिक्सटीन सी थर्टी टू और डी सिक्सटी फोर सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी एट वट इज द डिफॉल्ट इनिशियल कैपेसिटी ऑफ एन एरे लिस्ट इन जावा ए एट बी सिक्सटीन सी टेन और डी थर्टी टू सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी टेन क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी नाइन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्लासेज आर इम्यूटेबल इन जावा ए स्ट्रिंग बी स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर सी स्ट्रिंग बफर और डी ऑल ऑफ द अब सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज स्ट्रिंग इवन दो स्ट्रिंग इज इम्यूटेबल स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर एंड स्ट्रिंग बफर आर नॉट क्वेश्चन थर्टी इज जावा कंप्लीटली ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज नो जावा इज नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड वाइल जावा इज मोस्टली ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड इट इज नॉट कंप्लीटली बिकॉज इट यूज इज प्रिमिटिव डेटा टाइप्स लाइक इंट कैर बुलियन फ्लोट एक्सेट्रा विच आर नॉट ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओके सो इफ जावा वर कंप्लीटली ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड एवरीथिंग इवन इंक्लूडिंग दीज वुड बी एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओके हाउ एवर जावा प्रोवाइड्स रैपर क्लासेस लाइक इंटीजर कैरेक्टर बुलियन फ्लोट सो यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट दे स्टार्ट विद द कैपिटल लेटर सो दीज आर सम क्लासेस दैट आर प्रोवाइडेड बाय जावा टू ट्रीट दीज प्रिमेटिव डेटा टाइप्स एज ऑब्जेक्ट्स वेन नीडेड बट स्टिल जावा ऑल्सो हैज द प्रिमेटिव डेटा टाइप्स सो दैट्स वाई इट कांट बी सेट दैट इट इज कंप्लीटली ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड ओके सो दीज आर थर्टी मोस्ट फ्रिक्वेंटली आज क्वेश्चन एंड वेन एवर यू गिव एन इंटरव्यू इन अ कंपनी दैट इज जावा ओरिएंटेड दीज आर द क्वेश्चन दैट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट ओके सो आई होप ऑल दीज आर क्लियर एंड आई होप यू लाइक द वीडियो